Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get an ethernet connection without being connected to your modem. So this computer that I have right here, uh, this computer does not have a Wi-Fi card in the motherboard. So I can only use this um, setup if I have uh, an ethernet connection. So as you can see over here, if I go ahead and click on, you can see that the it's connected through ethernet right there. If we click on it, uh, it says that I'm connected Ethernet. I'm on the YouTube trending page right now. So I'm connected with Ethernet right now. Um, and I'm not, my modem is not in this room. My modem is actually downstairs. So to get an Ethernet connection, uh, you're going to need uh, this thing right here, which is a power line. Uh, I, I think it's like a power line adapter starter kit. Uh, I bought this one on Amazon. I couldn't find one in store for the life of me. So I bought this one over here. Uh, this one has been working out pretty good. Uh, and I'll pretty much just show you kind of like how it works and how you set it up. So like I said, this computer can't connect to the internet wirelessly. It needs to be connected to the uh, internet through uh, ethernet. So the way I kind of have it set up is I have an ethernet hooked up to the back of this that's going uh, into the wall right here. So I have it plugged into, and I just unplugged it on accident, but I have it plugged into the power line, I, you know, right here, here it is. And I have it plugged into here. And then all you have to do to kind of get the connection is, I, like I said, I have it running through my computer right here. Uh, and then the other end gets connected here. So right now it has two lights. That pretty much just means that it recognizes the one that's downstairs. So they're kind of paired up together right now. The other light just means that there's you know power that's going to it. So I'll just plug this part in. And then light number three should show up. Boom, right there. And it's going to be connected to the internet. So uh, just to kind of show you, uh, if I unplug it, and I keep it unplugged, there won't be an internet connection anymore. So I'll unplug this. Uh, this button right here is just a pairing button. So I'll just leave that unplugged. And then as you can see, the internet did go out. And if I click on it, there's no inner, you know, there's no other connections that I can, you know, choose from. Because like I said, this computer can only be used with an ethernet. It can't be used um, wirelessly. So if I go ahead and refresh the YouTube page, I won't connect because, see, no connection. And I'll kind of show you how I have the other one set up. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this back, plug it into the wall. And it, it works pretty great because if you need this kind of like set up for a computer that you might have that you can't connect you know, wirelessly through, you could always get those adapters, but I don't really like them. And now we're connected again. Um, you got the connection established uh, once again, so right there. Uh, but you could use this for like a work from home setup. I have a, uh, and this works for like Mac computers too. I have a 2019 Mac here on the floor. Um, and yeah, it works perfectly great for consoles, computers, really any computers. This is a Windows setup. Um, works with Mac setups. Like I said, it works with consoles too. And I'll kind of show you how I have it set up downstairs. So pretty much all you do, and it, it comes with um, the ethernets too. Uh, they're not very long. So if you want like a longer one, you might have to like purchase longer ones, but it, it does come with two uh, ethernets uh, just to kind of make sure you get them connected. But all you have to do is just connect one end to the device that you want to have the ethernet connection. And then you'll plug the other end over here into the wall and you'll establish that connection. Uh, this won't work for every single connection, mainly because, uh, you know, di different houses are kind of set up in different ways. If you look at the back of this, it matters how like the wiring is in your house. Um, though, I mean, some people say that we, you know, if they have older homes, they won't work as good or it won't work at all. It all, all depends on, you know, the house. And I really don't know the, you know, the exact, you know, tech of it. But all I would say is, uh, if you really need a setup like this is to just buy it and then try it out because, um, 
you know, you never know if it would work because I didn't really think that it would work for me, but it does. It works perfectly fine. And I'm going to be running a speed test too, just to show you the connection. I wish that I could kind of test it out. Um, I wish that I can kind of test it out like with it directly connected to it, but I guess it really doesn't matter for right now. So we're just going to run this. Okay, and this isn't going to be as fast as if it was connected directly to, you know, the actual modem itself, but it's still pretty quick. Like, I think normally the upload is actually pretty quick. Usually my, my upload isn't that quick um, for the way that I kind of have it set up. But yeah, this seems like it's doing pretty good. Uh, but when it's directly connected, I think I get about like 130 download, I think. Uh, but this, like I said, this works pretty good. And I'm going to show you how I have it set up um, downstairs. So uh, let's go check that out. All right, so I have my modem right here and I have two ethernets on the back. So uh, this one is actually connected to a little router that I have here. Uh, so that's the other one that you see connected and that's why it's showing the green is because this one's connected. Uh, but this other one is the one that I had, is the power line adapter from upstairs. So this one is going from my router all the way over here. surge protector i know some people have said that it doesn't work with a surge protector but i found that it works you know with a surge protector just fine um i've been using it like that with the surge protector pretty much the whole time i've you know owned it i've been using it for uh let me see i've been using this setup for like eight months now uh works perfectly fine never had an issue with it uh i've had like one issue where i kind of just had to like unplug them and then pair them again but that was like really just one time. But like I said, I have it hooked up to a surge protector or a power strip or extender or whatever you want to call it. And then it's going into uh, this wall right here. So it works just fine the way uh, that I've been using it. You could try it out, you know, in your home. Like I said, I have one downstairs, one upstairs. Some people have said that you need to, it needs to be on like the same circuit on the breaker for it to work. That's not true. Uh, some people have said that um, you know, you need to have it in the same room. That's not true either. Some people say that you need it on the same floor. That's not true either. Even on the box, it says that, you know, you could have it in two separate rooms on two separate floors. So, um, just, I, I would just suggest just buying one and then just seeing, it, seeing if it works for you. That's what I would recommend. It works just fine for me for what I need to use it for. So I'd recommend you probably just buy it and try it out. Uh, if it doesn't work, you could always return it. But yeah, this setup has been working perfectly fine. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, uh, drop the questions below. I'll try to answer all the questions as I can. Uh, but yeah, this setup has been working flawlessly, like I mentioned before. And uh, I haven't had any issues with it, really. Um, I, uh, people have mentioned a lot, a lot of stuff like, you know, the year that your home was built. If this matters, this apartment was built in like the early 2000s. Um, yeah, early 2000s or like the late 90s or something like that. So, you know, I have a newer kind of setup, but like I said, I think this might work um, a little bit better with newer homes, especially if you've got it renovated. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Uh, I'll be sure to, tr you know, answer those questions for you guys. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.